Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a collaboration with Gary from Gary's Craft Room and we are making both a jelly print video and today I will share how I make some grungy looking prints with two jelly plates and some stamps. Gary also made some wonderful prints, so be sure to check out her video, it is linked in the description box. The reason why I'm working with two of the plates is that I want to use one of it, always as kind of a stamp pad, to ink up my stamps with the acrylic paints. And then I stamp it to the other jelly plate. Um, of course you will get mirrored text when you print some stamped words, but I don't mind that, it's just for the interest on the background. The stamp that I'm using today is the journal word stamp from Rubber Dance. Also a nice thing is that you can do two prints at once and so you get twice as much yummy backgrounds in the same time. When you use stamps with acrylic paints, always make sure to put the stamp upside down into a wet wipe so that the paint doesn't dry on the stamp because it's really hard to get the paint off the stamp. I'm using the Artsy Spiral Stamp to create some pattern on the big plate. I'm adding a second layer to my plate. This time I'm using a light blue. I'm just experimenting. Some prints don't turn out as beautiful as others, but it's a learning process and that's the fun of jelly printing. Just try and error and try and be surprised what a beautiful background you have created. Today I'm going for very junky and grungy backgrounds and one nice thing is that I have leftovers on my jelly plate already because I never clean them. And some of these leftovers will be picked up by my fresh color and transferred to the, to the print and that makes it look really grungy. You will see that on the big plate I had a print from, from a fabric and that will cover almost the whole page now. So that's not my favorite print but the future prints will look very interesting because of that remaining paint on the plate. At the end of this video I will share a flip through all the prints we make today. I always have a piece of paper on the right side to clean my stamp in between and also to clean my brayer. These papers also sometimes look very pretty and you can use them as backgrounds. I'm printing with a 200 GSM printer paper.
here you can see that the cleaning paper also looks very nice so I put it aside and use a new one. I decided to clean my plates in between because the old paint from the edges of the plates don't come off to the prints and I use packaging tape to clean my jelly plates. I just adhere it to the areas where I have old paint and then tear it off and you have all the paint on your packaging tape. So this is a great and quick way to clean your jelly plate. I didn't remove everything because I just want to have some grungy spots on my prints.
and here is a flip through all the prints I've made today. I have also made a mixed media tag from two of the prints and I will share a photo of that at the end of the video. I really like how they turned out. They are super grungy and I love to use them on different projects. They are perfect for greeting cards. They are also great to make a mini art journal from them or you can use them for mixed media tags or artist trading cards. Now here are the cleaning papers. I also love those. You can stamp some flowers onto them, cut them out and use them as your main images in your art journal for example. For the mixed media tag I've made, I used our brand new Water Girl 1 stamp and I transformed the cute little girl into a creepy Halloween um, girly. Uh, I painted her skin green and I added some stitching to her face and to her mouth. I combined the tag with some Halloween stamps from Viva Las Vegas stamps. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope we see us next time. Don't forget to check out Gary's video. She made awesome prints and created some super easy cards with them. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye!